Having trouble finding that special soulmate? Oh, I know. Are you ready to find love? So what do you think your ideal mate is? This I can solve for you. Check out Secrets of Birthdays, The Love and Lust Report at secretsofbirthdays.com. Hello Pisces and welcome to Friday. It's finally Friday and it's sunny, it's social, and it's chatty. That's my prediction today for the dual fishies. The moon is in Capricorn and the sun is ruled by the moon. Let's start there. We're in chapter one of Sun and Taurus. The Pisces this month are uncovering attitude, intellect, and communication issues. And today the moon is ruling the day, so your emotions will be what teaches you today. That is, how do your emotions trigger mind games? How do emotions contribute toward negative thinking. And how does your mind respond to negative emotion? That is the question. Your intellectual response is, of course, you setting policy for your soul. So if someone pisses you off and you say, I hate them, that becomes policy. And that's the type of attitude that we're looking to work out or prejudice in this month. Now, where's the moon? It is in Capricorn, which means Pisces emotions will be fixed on friends, their reputation, and their place in society through the course of today and tomorrow and the moon will cross over Pluto, which means there will be a one moment during the day where negative emotions may come up from your past, where you're attached to emotion about a friend or about a reputation or a public failure or a public humiliation. Something that is negative that comes up and the whole lesson of the day is to let that emotion go instead of harboring it and to notice what your mind does or wants to do in response to the emotion. Therein lies the lesson. Now tomorrow on Saturn Day, Mercury goes direct. So we get our faculties back and our technology starts to work. And on Sunday, breakdown. That's right. Our first breakdown of the tour season on Sunday. Again, a breakdown around your intellectual faculties. It could be an argument. It could be a mind game. If you're prone to depression or ADD issues or something like that, you can pull into that. The point is the universe is going to reveal by Monday morning the root core issue of your intellect and what you want to work on it. Now I have two announcements. First is happy Earth Day. Isn't it cool that Earth Day is in the Taurus vibration? Of course. I believe that Earth rules Taurus, not Venus. And I'm happy to announce Astro Extra Saturn Libra Part 2 is live. This is a special that I have recorded both last year and now this year where I get super deep on what Saturn is going to do once it goes direct in June all the way to its completion in, in Scorpio in 2012. So really the completion of the transit how it affect each of the 12 signs and of course we have last year's videos in there too of what it was doing last year so if you already purchased Astro Extra Saturn and Libra last year you will find that you have free access available on the mothership if you are a Soul Nirvana subscriber you will have free access in Soul Nirvana if you have no access to either well you can learn how to join and get access by coming to soulgarden.tv and clicking on Soul Mart in the upper right of the corner all right, Pisces, that's all I got for the weekend forecast, but I'll see you on Monday when we have that breakthrough. Until Monday, live, love, be. So